Did you know that the latest update from Tesla for charging on solar not only works for Tesla, but it works for the Span EV drive as well. So if I take a look at my car being charged with the Span drive, it's currently being charged via the sun, and this is being dynamically allocated via my solar panels and my inverter. So you can see that I'm currently charging on solar, and once I reach the limit of 80%, it'll stop. But you can also set the charge to rapidly charge into that 70%. And then the other thing I wish that the Tesla app would have is that it would track the solar prices accordingly. So I had to manually put in the price so that it would reflect my $10 a month that PG&E charges on my electric bill. At the end of the year, I'll try to calculate it so it's a lot more accurate, but I'm saving at least $133 a month in gas by charging on solar and using my Span EV drive.